Many diseases of the retina can be prevented with proper treatment and early diagnosis. A basic yet important tool for monitoring your vision is called an Amsler grid. You can use it at home to detect changes in your central or macular field of vision. You simply sit in a well-lit area and hold the grid away from you at a comfortable position. If you wear glasses, you should keep them on. Cover one eye and look directly at the point in the center of the grid. But observe the pattern of the vertical and horizontal lines with your peripheral vision. Then do the same with the other eye. Typically, a visual abnormality with the retina will cause some of the straight lines to appear wavy or blurry, or areas to appear dark or blank. If you notice any new changes on the grid, you should contact your ophthalmologist immediately. I was fortunate enough to be a part of the research study for the FDA-approved home AMD monitoring program called the 4C. This study challenged whether the transition between dry and wet macular degeneration could be detected earlier. Wet macular degeneration was detected earlier in patients who used the 4C monitor. This meant those patients received treatment earlier and ultimately ended up with one line of vision better than those patients who had used the traditional Amsler grid. Another line of defense that helps to reduce the risk of vision loss from age-related macular degeneration is dietary supplements. A recent study done on specific vitamin supplements was the ARED study. The results showed that supplements of high levels of antioxidants and zinc significantly reduce the risk of developing advanced age-related macular degeneration and its associated vision loss. Scientists found that people at high risk of developing advanced stages of AMD, a leading cause of vision loss, lower their risk by about 25% when treated with a high dose combination of vitamin C, vitamin E, beta carotene, and zinc. In the same high risk group, which includes people with the intermediate stage of AMD, or the advanced stage of AMD in one eye but not the other eye, the supplements reduce the risk of vision loss caused by the advanced AMD by about 19%. For those study participants who had either no AMD or early AMD, the supplements did not provide an apparent benefit. The clinical trial called the Age-Related Disease Study, or AREDS, was sponsored by the National Eye Institute, one of the federal government's national institutes of health. It is important for patients to understand the three stages of AMD. Stage one is early AMD. People with early AMD have in one or both eyes either several small drusen or a few medium-sized drusen. These people do not have vision loss from AMD. Drusen are a common feature of AMD, which are yellow deposits under the retina. Often found in people over age 60, drusen can be seen by an eye care professional during an eye exam in which the pupils are dilated. Drusen by themselves do not usually cause vision loss but an increase in their size and or number increases a person's risk of developing advanced AMD, which can cause serious vision loss. Stage two is intermediate AMD. People with intermediate AMD have in one or both eyes either many medium-sized drusen or one or more large drusen. In these people, there is usually little or no vision loss. In stage three is advanced AMD. In addition to drusen, people have with advanced AMD either in one or both eyes, a breakdown of light-sensitive cells and supporting tissue in the central retina area, or abnormal and fragile blood vessels under the retina that can leak fluid or bleed. Your ophthalmologist can tell you if you have AMD and its level of development. This can only be determined with a thorough eye exam that includes dilating the pupils with eye drops. Retina specialists use many advanced techniques to guide us in making diagnoses in following a patient's response to therapy. Optical coherence tomography, or OCT, is a non-invasive imaging test that uses light waves to take cross-section pictures of your retina, the light-sensitive tissue lining the back of the eye. With the OCT, each of the retina's distinctive layers can be seen, allowing your ophthalmologist to map and measure their thickness. These measurements help with early detection, diagnosis, and treatment guidance for retinal diseases and conditions including age-related macular degeneration and diabetic eye disease, among others. Your doctor may also order a fluorescein angiogram to further evaluate your retina or to guide laser treatment if it is necessary. 
This is a diagnostic procedure that uses a special camera to take a series of photographs of the retina after a small amount of yellow dye called fluorescein is injected into a vein in your arm. The photographs of fluorescein dye traveling through your retinal vessels show which blood vessels are leaking fluid, how much fluid is leaking, how many blood vessels are closed, therefore not bringing oxygen to the retina, and whether or not new blood vessel growth is beginning. There are many retinal treatment options offered at Mid Florida Eye Center. Your ophthalmologist will make a recommendation as to which best suits your conditions. Laser surgery is often one of the possible options for patients with diseases of the macula and retina. These lasers can be used to treat diabetic retinopathy, retinal tears, and vein occlusions. These procedures can be performed conveniently on an outpatient basis. Retinal laser treatment does not usually restore vision, however. It can frequently stop further vision loss. After laser surgery, few if any restrictions have to be placed on patients' activities, and most patients can return quickly to the normal, active lifestyles. There are other treatment options available. Be sure to discuss them with your physician. There have been a lot of breakthrough treatments available in the last several years to slow the effects of macular degeneration. These treatments include antivascular endothelial growth factor injections. These injections inhibit growth factors that the retina produces as an abnormal response to macular degeneration, which leads to the growth of blood vessels that can cause bleeding, swelling, or scarring. These injections have revolutionized the treatment of wet macular degeneration, offering the possibility to slow or even stop the progression of wet macular degeneration. A third of these patients have even doubled their vision. Again, early diagnosis and prevention is the key when protecting your vision. Regular visits with your ophthalmologist will help to determine if any issues need close monitoring. 